What's up everyone? G Smith 64 here. We are here today with another shrine update of the week for you in Dead by Daylight. Now we have some pretty good ones here. We have Sprint Burst, which is a solid perk on its by itself. We have Prove Thyself, which is another great one. Urban Invasion, which is fucking insane now. Honestly, if you're a survivor, Urban Invasion is probably the perk for you. And then, of course, last but not least, Huntress's Lullaby, which, oh my god, that is an amazing perk for killers. Granted, it is a hex, so you will have to protect it, but it is a great perk, regardless. Four great perks here. If you wanted the best one of for uh, Survivor, I'm gonna have to probably say Urban Evasion. Urban Evasion is probably the best perk you can get as a Survivor if you prefer the solo play. Otherwise, I would recommend Prove Thyself. Prove Thyself is a great perk. Having three survivors nearby grants you a speed boost. That is only at level one, though. At level two, Prove Thyself does get a little stronger. Let me go ahead and pull that up real quick for you. At level two, it is 2%, 4%, and 6%. And then at level three, when three survivors are nearby, that is a 9% increase. If you are running Prove Thyself and Leader, and two people are working on a generator, you are gonna knock out that generator incredibly fast. So that's why I say Prove Thyself and Leadership, both Dwight perks, are great perks to run if you like working as a team in Dead by Daylight and you can only tend to travel with at least one other survivor. Or generally stick in a group, so to speak. That is the only reason I would recommend that one. Otherwise, uh, totally just lost my train of thought there. Otherwise, I would really recommend it because it's only a range of 8 meters the whole entire time, which is not that big of a meter for uh, players to deal with. So, only do that if you like tra traveling with another survivor and the killer, and you think you can get away with traveling as a group as a killer. Otherwise, definitely perk of the week would go to Urban Evasion, because Urban Evasion fucking got a massive buff. When you are crouched, your crouch speed is increased by 90%. <laughs> you are fucking speeding along at 90%. Granted, level 2 and level 3 don't really buff it that much more, but at level fucking 1, it's at 90%. That's insanity. In level 3, it's 100. In level 2, it's 95. That is fucking madness. Beforehand, running was your fastest option with urban evasion it might not be quite faster than running but it's definitely faster than walking urban evasion at level three is 100 percent faster than walking well not 100 actually 100 percent faster but it's like 20 percent faster than walking which is madness urban evasion is a great skill to have now sprint burst though is another one when starting to run, break into a sprint at 150% your normal run speed. That is the granted the level 1 version. At level 2... Actually, no, correction. My bad. It stays at 150%, but the exhaust time goes down. Increase your normal running for 3 seconds. Causes exhaustion for 60 seconds, which is pretty big. Exhaustion makes you slower, makes you repair things slower, and makes you just do generally do everything slower running sprinting all of that makes you do it slower which is a big deal if you don't get away in those three seconds because then you're slowed for 60 at level two it's 50 and then at level three it's 40 but that is still a dangerous perk to take it's a huge gamble because if you can't get away in those three seconds you're going to be slowed for the next 30 at level three so it's a big risk big reward may help you get away but if you get caught and you don't get away you're fucked then finally, 
the Huntress's Lullaby. One of my favorite killer perks, probably, to run as the Huntress. I recently just got it on Huntress, and it is fucking brutal. Especially if they don't destroy it and you get five tokens on it. Oh my god. This is a one that if you're having issues with survivors fixing your generators way too quickly, this is one of those perks to run with it, along with Overcharge. You will fuck people up. Huntress's Lullaby makes it so uh, every time a survivor fails a skill check, it regresses by 2% at level 1, 4% at level 2, and 6% at level 3. But on top of that, time between the skill check warning and sound and the skill check becomes shorter between 1 to 4 tokens. 1 to 4 tokens? Tokens. And if you manage to get 5 tokens on it, it has fucking no skill check warning. No skill check warning means they get no sound whatsoever. A skill check will just proc and they'll probably fail it today. Huntress's Lullaby is a nasty perk, especially if people don't know how to counter it. So for killers, this is a must. This is a very good one to have. The one downside I will say about Huntress's Lullaby is that at the end of the day, it is a hex. And all hexes can be destroyed, which means you will have to protect it slightly if it gets a very shitty spawn. But other than that, Huntress's Lullaby can fuck up your survivors, making it much harder for them to get those gems, which makes the match longer, which means you can get them more often, taking them out. But that's going to do it for the Shrine update of the week. Like I said, if for the survivors out there, I would recommend Urban Evasion if you prefer playing by yourself, and if you don't, then I recommend Prove Thyself. Urban Evasion, though, is one of those perks that uh, you can put on pretty much any build and it will fit in rather well. Uh, personally, if I was going to use Urban Evasion, a great set of skills to run it with would be No Mither and, Resi or, yeah, and Resilience, because you move around qu faster and quieter with Urban Evasion. You want to have those red marks, and you can repair shit a lot faster with Urban Evasion or with uh, Resilience because no Mither and it's it's a pretty good combo when I've seen of it. Granted many people don't run it because no Mither is a dangerous perk to run but we'll get into that another day. Until next time, I've been your host Smith 624 and I'll see you next.